What's up, Meatbags? It's the Often Imitated, Never Duplicated, Tony TGD coming at you with another video. This time we're going to be taking a deep dive into Flying Tigers from the Intellivision Amico. Now, Flying Tigers is one of the games that I actually was interested in. When I first saw the footage, I was like, yes, this is the type of game I want. This is the type of game I would play. Uh, I love shoot 'em ups uh, So this is, this is right there. This is in my wheelhouse. Now, uh, this is footage from the Bacon Ice Cream Productions channel of Flying Tigers. We're going to take a quick look just to remind you what Flying Tigers looks like. I did turn the audio off um, because uh, Rich is just going over what's going on. We can see what's on the screen. As you can see, it is a vertical shoot 'em up You got a plane, they got planes, you're shooting them down. Uh, we're going to pause it. Now, uh, like I said, I was very interested in this game, and I was trying to find more information on the game, the developers. You know, trying to get some information, because that's what I do. I got to bring you guys the all the inside goods, all the inside info. And finally, after all this time, I actually may have found the game that this is based on, because I found the studio making the game. That's right. Now, if we go over to Twitter here, we can see Small Things Studios. They're making an announcement on uh, November 17th, 2020, saying that they have partnered up with Intellivision Amico. They're going to make a brand new arcade IP in development, uh, which is interesting. You know, we don't got much here. We just know that this is a studio partnering up with Intellivision. So why would I think that this is the studio making Flying Tigers? Well, it is an Italian studio, I know that much, if we uh, click on it. Uh, you know, they are an Italian studio, they're located in Italy. Now the interesting thing is, Small Thing Studio actually used to be Small Thing Games. See, Small Thing Games was working on a little thing called 1949 and War. It was supposed to be a spiritual successor to the 1942 series. Now, as you can see here, this is a pixel art image of the game that they were working on. It never got released. Now, if we go back over to this Touch Arcade forums here, you can see in November 25th of 2015 is when they first started working on this game, when they announced it. And as you can see, the video is unavailable. Why is the video unavailable? Uh, because in about 2019, they uh, took all the videos down. They had re, uh, they changed their brand. They were no longer Small Thing Games. They became Small Thing Studios. They said that they wanted to rebrand all their footage with the new logo, but that never happened. If we go to the end of this thread here, you can see that announcement. It's not cut off. It is cut off. Hold on. Move this bad boy over. It says, hi guys. Uh, meanwhile, we apologize for this long silence. Many things have changed in positive. Many, many you have written ab about where 1949 N-War is. You got to forgive them. English is their second language. In this many months, we have continued to work and our company has expanded by starting new multi-plat projects. 1949 N-War is absolutely alive. While I'm writing, we're about 85% of the dev. We are not fast as we want to make it a great title. And we must also take care of other aspects and activities of the company. We have removed videos and images where possible because it will be presented with the new multi-platform Small Things Studio brand. PC, Steam, PS4, Xbox One, Switch, iOS, and Android. For the console version, we hope to be able to make the... The physical version too. iOS and Android will be full without in-app, meaning in-app purchases. We do not have a release date yet, but we are working hard. We have made many ads and changes and even more solid gameplay, added new characters, thanks to new artists who have joined the company and more. When the title is in release, Kennedy will make a presentation with the launch of the teaser trailer and new images. We thank you very much for your patience and interest. Follow us at our new website. Uh, thanks, CEO, Game Director, Massey. 
Now, this was made in September 25th, 2019. The game still has not been released. It still has not had any sort of update trailers. Small Things Studio has said nothing about it. Uh, when I found out about the company making this game, possibly making the Flying Tigers for Amico, based on this game, I reached out to them, as I always do. Uh, I have not heard nothing back from them. Uh, if I do hear back from them, I will obviously update everybody. Now, if we go back to the original post and get kind of an idea of what's going to be in the game. Uh, we got eight play areas with more than 60 missions. Some custom as Escape, the Bomber, and many others. Eight mega bosses with different conditions of the attack and over 10 mid boss. Huge variety of enemies and attacks. Shop, but no in app purchases for power ups. Three different controller aircraft. We know in the update they said they added more. Five different weapons with five upgrades each. Three types of mega bombs and guided missiles. Dialogues between boss and main cast. An original story that combines events. Intro in 2D. 16 bit animated and drawn by hand. Obviously, that would be not on the Amico because they don't do, you know, 16 bit, 16 bit uh, pixel art. Mm. And uh, now the videos, like I said, they're all taken down. They're all gone. They've been erased from the internet. We can't see what this game was going to look like pre uh, Amico. Now I do know that uh, Hans Ippish, I hope I'm pronouncing his last name right, you know, the European president, he was at a 2019 Italian Games Conference and so was this small studio here, Small Things. So obviously, you know, what can be assumed is that Hans reached out to these guys to get the game on the Amico, some changes were needed. And uh, we have Flying Tigers. But let's take a look at what the original version was. Because you see, I've managed to dig up footage of 1949 N-War. The original teaser trailer. The trailer that was lost to time. But of course, nothing is lost on the internet. And nothing that is on the internet cannot be found by me. This video is thanks to Stormo's Daily Game News. Uh... Daily Game News channel on YouTube. Uh, he hasn't uploaded any new videos. Thankfully, he never deleted his channel. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to take a look. Let me move this back over. Put the desktop audio on. I think 42 series from Small Thing Games. I'm going to pause it here for one second. Now, if you look at the upper left corner, you can see that the screen has got a rounded edge. Now, this is typical of mobile games being shown on a full screen in order to properly capture the footage. Now, if we go back to the Flying Tigers footage captured by Retro Rich here, you can see it has the same rounded edge because this was originally made as my belief that this was originally made for a mobile device you know it was originally made for a rounded edge on a mobile device not a modern TV that has you know sharp corners if we look at the flying tigers footage you can see the way the ground is stationary but the clouds are what's moving now if we go to this we can see the same effect See, the clouds are moving, ground is stationary. <laughs> so I think it's a, it's a pretty good chance that they took 1949 N-War, reskinned it, changed the UI, added some new features, 
and turned it into the new IP that is Flying Tigers. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know. Do you think that 1949 and war has evolved into Flying Tigers? Do you think Flying Tigers is a completely new, separate game that just happens to be developed by the same company that developed a mobile game that they never released that was also a vertical shoot 'em up uh, Just let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. But you know how we do it here. Love, peace, booty grease. We out this bitch.